Greetings everyone, Pinepot here. Welcome to my latest episode of Climbing the Curve. The series intended to make the rather steep learning curve of Planetside 2 that little bit easier. Now today I'm taking a look at upgrading your basic combat medic. After you've been on the battlefield for a few hours, you'd have racked up a few certs. Investing those certs in a combat medic will be, in my opinion, pretty much the best investment you can make early in the game. Resurrecting and healing other players provides a very steady and lucrative form of gaining experience. And the icing on the cake is the fact that the combat medic is pretty much the cheapest of all the classes to upgrade to a pretty decent level. Then later on in the game, if you feel you have a taste for the medic class, you worry about upgrading all its other little toys, such as the Nanite Revive Grenade. So the key question is, of all the options of a table, what should you invest in first on your combat medic? Well, the obvious answer is the medical applicator. This is your tool with which you heal people and revive them. Upgrading this increases the speed with which you can revive people, plus the amount of health they come back with once they're regenerated. Upgrading it is particularly cheap, only costing 10, 30, then 50 certs to increase your revive speed by 10, 20, and then 30%. Upgrading it, at least for the first two levels, should be pretty much your top priority. Now the reason why this is so crucial for the medic class is because your moment of greatest vulnerability is always when you are reviving other people. Looking at the clips you can compare the revive time between new upgrades, upgraded 3 times, so 30% faster, and the top upgrade, which is 65% faster. The problem is that once you're reviving someone, you're focusing down on the ground, reviving them, and not on the potential dangers around you. I've lost count of the number of times I've been jumped while reviving people. As you don't even have your weapon equipped, you're at a massive disadvantage when this happens. Therefore, by upgrading your medical tool as quickly as possible, you can minimise the potential exposure you have at these moments. As you can see from the clips, the upgraded medical tool gets people up much, much faster, thus cutting your potential exposure time as you revive. And at the top rank, they positively fly up, as you can see here. Oh, sh Given how cheap it is to upgrade it, at least the first couple of times, I'd be looking to put a minimum of 40 certs into this, and if you can afford it, an additional 50 certs to take it up to rank 4. Now the other healing device in your arsenal to consider is your special ability, the Nano Regen device. This is particularly cheap to upgrade, only costing 1, 10, 30, then 50 certs for the first 4 upgrades. Though nowhere near as important as your medical tool, I would still be looking to upgrade it at least twice. Though useful for healing people around you, its main purpose is to heal yourself. Others you can heal with your medical tool, yourself you can't. Though not exactly a deal breaker, the increased duration plus regeneration rate will ensure that this ability is topped up whenever you need it. Therefore, for the princely sum of 11 certs, I'd be looking to upgrade this twice and then concern myself with the further upgrades a little further down the line. Now the other big priority item to upgrade is a suit slot. Now there's five potential options available, but to start off with I would say only two are worth considering. The one I recommend you take is Nano Weave Armour. Now each initial upgrade for the suit slot only costs one cert, other than the grenade bandolier. Nano Weave Armour protects you against body shots from small arms fire. It does not protect you against headshots. Effectively, it allows you to take one more bullet before you die. This may not sound a lot, but in practice, often whether or not you survive or kill the enemy comes down to the wire. Therefore, picking up both rank 1 and rank 2 is a very good place to start for upgrading your medic. Now, the other viable option is flak armor. Now, there's two reasons why I don't think this is the best place to first invest your certs. Firstly, explosive damage tends to be very heavy damage usually dished out by things like grenades, or tanks, or planes. Therefore, to have a reasonable chance of surviving such an attack, you're going to have to upgrade it several times to make it worthwhile. 10% reduction in damage, I'm afraid, is not going to cut it when you're being hit by rocket. Now, the other reason is that, in my experience, you're much more likely to be shot as a medic than you are to be blown up. Most of the really high damage explosive devices are vehicle mounted. Now, it's the engineer class rather than the medic, which is the vehicle support class. As a medic, you rarely hang around vehicles, but are rather stuck with the infantry. Nine times out of ten, I find my medic dies of small arms fire rather than explosives. Therefore, as a general rule, I'd rather go with nano weave armor rather than black armor. Which brings me to the final, early essential upgrade, 
I personally don't like iron sights. Usually scope side grades cost 30 certs, but for the default guns there are some options which only cost 5 certs. If you too don't like your iron sights, then I would seriously consider investing 5 certs in either getting the times one or times two reflex sight for your default gun. So in conclusion, upgrading your medic to a decent level of utility is pretty inexpensive. I put at the top of the screen what I consider to be a priority list. Once you work your way through these basic upgrades, you can start considering some of the more interesting and esoteric options on the table, such as a nanite revive grenade, which is both brilliant but rather expensive, coming in at 400 certs to unlock. In the meantime, to earn all those certs, get reviving and get stuck into the combat. Now in my next episode, I'm going to be taking a look at the Vanguard tank, which is the new conglomerate's specific main battle tank. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to thumbs up, thumbs down, comment or subscribe as appropriate. In the meantime, have a good one, happy hunting and pipe pot out.